In this video, I'm going to hop on the computer and I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up the full thing from beginning to end and totally optimize it for your business and start generating leads by the end of the day. Okay, so let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are on my Facebook business account. So we're just going to hop on into the ad account here and I'm going to show you how to set everything up to make it so you can totally optimize your Facebook ad account and your ads and retargeting to totally go all in with this. So first thing you're going to want to do is click on the little business tools here and you're want and you're going to want to go to audiences. So what audiences does, uh, let me just delete there's some previous ones here. I haven't used them so I'm actually going to go ahead and delete them so we can show you how to create them again and I can talk about all the different aspects of maximizing your Facebook ad account. So let's see here, let's just get rid of that. Audience you selected, should be able to delete this. Oh, well the lookalike one's gone now. Okay, whatever, not a big deal. Let's just refresh it, it should disappear. Okay, there we go, so now we can start fresh. Okay, so this is what it'll, this is what it'll look like if you've never been here before. So we're gonna start off with a custom audience. And a custom audience is to connect with the people who have already shown an interest in your business or product with custom audiences. You can create a custom audience from your customer contacts, website traffic, or mobile app. So we're not gonna focus on mobile app, we're gonna focus on contacts and traffic here. So go ahead and click custom audience you're gonna see all these different options. So website is if you have a Facebook pixel, which I'm not gonna get into in this video. Uh, however, I am gonna talk about down here, Facebook business profile, Facebook page, and then also video, so, and customer list. So customer list is you can actually upload a spreadsheet with you know the name, email address, phone number, and Facebook will do its best to find those people on Facebook and show them the ad you create for them. A video ad is if you have a video on your page or it could be a previous ad you've ran that was in the form of a video. And what's really cool about video retargeting is you can retarget people based on the percentage or time they've watched of your video. So one strategy you can do is you can create, it's called the dollar a day strategy and you can create nine videos. Three videos are awareness, branding, hey, here's who I am and what I do and why I do it. So you can make three one minute videos for that. Then the next step would be consideration where you can talk about, oh, you know, here's why I'm qualified, here's some testimonials. And then the third set would be the decision stage where it's like, okay, give me your information and let's get started on this process now. So by having all these different ads, it really helps people get to know you. That'd be a total of nine different ads and you'd run them at a dollar a day each. So the first one would be just a plain ad. Second is retargeting people that saw the first ad. And the third set would be retargeting people who saw the second. So by the time they've gone through these three sets of ads and watched a little bit of each video, you know they're going to be very familiar with who you are. They're probably going to trust you, maybe even if they've watched your videos like you a little bit. So then uh, when, they, when it comes time, you call them up, oh yeah, I've seen all your videos on Facebook. You do a really great job, you know, something like that, they'll say. Okay, so that's a video, but... Let's assume Instagram because Instagram is really great. You can use hashtags as organic reach. Facebook page, if you post on your Facebook page, I wouldn't even say it's really worth your time nowadays to get seen on Facebook. You really need paid ads to get seen. But Instagram business profile, you can kind of build an organic, an organic audience on there. And Facebook page and Instagram business profile are the exact same. And this also includes ads that, so it says here, create an audience of people who follow or interacted with your page. So interacted with your page could include if they've interacted with one of your ads. So we're gonna start off by just selecting Instagram business profile here. <clears throat> so right here you can see I've connected my Instagram business profile and you can just go on Instagram into your settings tap on switch to business profile and then it'll 
give you the option to sign into Facebook and connect it and that way you can have it join up here. So right here, we can have everyone who's engaged with my business. So this would include people who visited my Instagram business profile or took an action on your post or ad, such as likes, comments, saves, car carousel swipes, button taps, or shares. So anybody who has interacted with your Instagram in any way is gonna be a part of this audience. Re okay, so retention is to decide who in this audience, how recently they've seen one of your posts or interacted with it. So 365 days is quite a long time. If somebody's last interaction was your post with, was 11 months ago, they're probably not gonna remember you. So I recommend shortening it, shortening it to something like 180 days is pretty good and it's as simple as that. Then you can name it Instagram engagement 180 days. So then you'll know this is people who have engaged with your Instagram profile in the last 180 days. Create audience and then boom, it's good to go. Okay, now you're gonna create another custom audience. Same thing, I recommend 180 days. Oh, let's see here, custom audience. So then for this one, we'll select Facebook page and it's the same idea. You can select your page and then everyone who's engaged with your page. So this includes people who have visited your page or taken an action on a post or ad such as reaction shares, comments, link clicks, carousel, swipes. So any type of engagement in the last 180 days. And then we'll set up the same deal here, which is Facebook page engagement in the last 180 days create and you're good to go all right and then it's going to populate it so now these are the people that have engaged it's going to create audiences of the people that have engaged with your facebook page in the last 180 days and your instagram page in the last 180 days and now what's really really interesting is let's say you have a smaller audience like I do, perhaps it's below a thousand, it takes a little time to populate, but if you have a business real estate page and you're posting all kinds of stuff about real estate and the people engaging with you are interested in real estate, what you can do is you can create another custom audience, which, oh, sorry you can create actually a lookalike audience. So since we're in real estate industry, we're going to select special ad audience. Okay, and then you're going to select an existing data source, which will start off with the Instagram engagement. And for countries, you can just select the country you're located in and you get more refined once you go to creating an actual ad. So now what this is going to do is this is this percentage here is so 10% closest match and the top 1% that match the closest. So out of the people that have uh, engaged with my Instagram page in the last 180 days, these are gonna be people that are most similar to those people. So what this does is you have your core net, people that have for sure engaged, and this now creates a wider net for people that haven't yet engaged but could be a little bit interested because they're the 1% most similar people to those that have already engaged. And you're gonna go ahead and create that special ad audience. And then do the same thing for Facebook page engagement. Just so we're, cre we're creating all these audiences here. Okay, Canada, top 1% and done. Okay, so it takes a little while to populate here, but then now let's assume you go back to ad manager. You have some different ads here. So let's give an example of free list of homes under 400 grand, which uh, I've created already. And you can see this ad. So now this is just an ad going to a cold audience. So if we look at the targeting in this ad, I'm gonna show you here. We have my audience, where's my audience selected here? Right here. So as you can see, I have people in my location, which is in Edmonton, 
cannot select by age or gender due to the special ad category and it tells me okay with this ad for I'm gonna get about 2 to 13 leads a day at $20 a day and this is actually an ad that I know for sure will perform above average because I have run it before and at $20 a day it'd be more likely that you could get actually 30 to 40 leads per day for $20 so you're looking at a dollar around a dollar per lead could be less could be slightly more okay and we've got all this targeting so basically just Edmonton's Facebook advanced AI is very very smart and if you're in the US what you could do is you could do some detailed targeting some real estate websites Zilla realtor.com uh, maybe some other ones interests behaviors so if they're interested in real estate you can target them that way so this one is going to a cold audience and as you can see our detailed targeting is not selected to people that are a custom audience we haven't selected that this goes to a cold audience so then if people are somewhat interested in real estate they click your ad okay what you would now do is we would be going back to creating a retargeting ad so let's just go fresh here we're gonna select traffic because what we want is the most amount of traffic new campaign and you can just change that to retargeting all engagement plus lookalike so you know what it is always terrible at spelling on these videos okay make sure you select the appropriate special ad category next and this is where we're gonna get into the retargeting okay so choose where you want to send traffic you're gonna be sending them to your website so this could just be your real estate website five dollars works twenty dollars works it all depends on your budget but just know the more you spend the better results you are gonna get and then right here is where we would select existing audiences so in this case I'm gonna to want to select everybody and that's gonna cast a very wide net okay so let's get rid of this thing here and then it is going to default to Canada but we want to make sure that you now select your specific city okay so that would be my specific city and then now since we've selected these custom audiences people that have already seen the previous ad I showed you interacted with your Facebook page in any way interacted with your Instagram page in any way or are one the top 1% most similar to those people that have already interacted with your pages so this is how you're gonna set that up and in this ad the next section would be okay so the next section would be you want to make sure you select your page just because you're uh, I've got to select it automatic placements but I'd recommend custom placements which I get a little bit more into if you click the link below I'll have a offer for you a special offer for you where I go into very 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 vivid detail talk about this Facebook pixel and every all of the details so you just say your website maybe that's you know whatever your website could be set it up and that is a little bit about Facebook retargeting and just talking about the power of Facebook so then I'm not going to publish this but let's assume you've had you've set it all up you'll go back to campaigns and then you'd see what you have right here is you have your free list of homes and then you would have a retargeting which just makes sure to stay in front of people maybe they're on their Instagram explore page they're on Facebook they come across a video or a picture or something you posted could even be a listing in the Facebook marketplace so no matter what their engagement is now with this total engagement you're going to be retargeting them and staying in front of those same people over and over and over again so you don't even have to get their email address or address or phone number or nothing this automatically retargets them and keeps showing them ads which in my opinion is way way better than a postcard which is a dollar a pop for them to see at once this is going to be fractions of a penny per impression which is pretty impressive so Hope you enjoyed this video. I got plenty more to come. So click the link in the description for my full in-depth course on how to make all this work and set it up very 
organized and professionally. Thank you so much.